Yes, it's time again for the weekly vlog right after this. back to the vlog appreciate everybody watching I'm here at uh, Mount Vernon Texas at the Sefco getting ready to leave out and guess what it starts raining looky there and uh, yeah We went to Left Little Rock, went to Grapevine yesterday, dropped that load off, picked up another one. Well, we went to uh, Garland, got this load, going to take it back to Little Rock Yard. Yeah, that's all I've been doing all week, running back and forth, seems like, so that's fine. At least we are staying a little bit busy. And uh, we're going over Little Rock now, drop this load. And probably gonna stop Prescott, Arkansas, get the shire and everything. Tried to get the shire here at the Sefco, but uh, paid ten bucks. Didn't like the shire. No hot water in the sink. The shire was just trickling out water, so they gave me my money back. <laughs> Going up at Prescott, TA, get a nice shire. You know, I've got some credits over there. Won't cost me anything. All right, pre-trip's over. We got our coffee. We're getting ready to get out of here. Well, hello there. It's Friday evening. We made it over here to the Little Rock Yard. Dropped the trailer over there across the street. Came on over here to the uh, driver's lounge, driver's area, whatever you want to call it. Chilling out for the night. We got to pick up tomorrow up in Russellville, Arkansas. Going, going, I'll let y'all know tomorrow where we're going to be going. Because I'm not sure if I'm going to be going there yet. Because I don't like the load. <laughs> it's not a lot of miles for the weekend, but uh, slim pickings around here this time of the year. Being Thanksgiving's coming up. So we're just going to take it in stride and see what happens tomorrow. We might go pick it up and see what happens from there. So uh, we'll find out tomorrow what's going to happen. All right. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Good Saturday morning. Hooked up to an empty here. Getting ready to head over to Russellville, Arkansas and load up. Where the load is going, I don't know yet. Well, I do know, but I'm going to hold everybody in suspense. Because it's a little different area than we usually go to. Even though we have been down there before. Or up there, or over there, wherever it might be. So as soon as we get up here to Russellville, and... Uh, get loaded we will find out where the load is going sitting here in the shipper in Russellville Arkansas on a Saturday afternoon I have I have nothing better to do been here for almost two hours now at this dock waiting to get loaded uh, I've had two other trucks come in after me and get loaded and they're gone so i don't know if they forgot about me or they don't know i'm here or what is going on i am getting ready to go inside and find out politely of course yes i am moving but i did not get loaded I went in and checked on my load. They said it's not ready yet. They're still running it on production or whatever they said. I said, well, I'm gonna go eat. I dropped the trailer. I said, no, you can't drop the trailer. You gotta take everything with you. 
It's alright. I'm going to go eat. So I left. Went to go get something to eat. And now I'm on, wow. now I'm on my way back. Hopefully be loaded here before too long. Getting ready to go find out. Not looking good for the rest of the day, that's for sure. Finally got a load of here in Russellville, Arkansas. <laughs> and I went back after I went getting something to eat. Sat there another hour and a half. But we're finally loaded. I have no idea how far we're going to make it tonight. Not too far. We still got till noon Monday to get down to uh, McAllen, Texas. I thought this load's gonna be real heavy. It's heavy, but it's not that bad. Only 38,000. Uh, 38,000. Heavy enough. Not too worried about it. They had scales there on the site, so we scaled out pretty good on the axles and everything. Still gotta be careful, you know. Run curves and exit ramps and all that stuff. get some driving in this evening see how far we can get and uh, call it a day Sunday morning here in Little Rock made it over here to the yard park for the night took our break and uh, yeah I spilled the beans on where I was going on that last clip or one of them uh, going to McAllen McAllen Texas down there in uh, Rio Grande Valley and got to be there noon tomorrow. It's uh, 5 a.m., 5.30 a.m. here in Little Rock. We got all day to drive to get down there. Got all of our hours. But uh, hope, I was hoping for some more miles for the weekend. But this time of year in this area, freight is slow. So we got to reload out of... Uh, somewhere down there I believe to bring back up here next week or this week Tuesday probably be back up here Wednesday and going home for a day or so for Thanksgiving it all works out in the end so we're just sitting here having a little bit of coffee preacher's finished and we're getting ready to get out of here What a day it was. A busy day. We did some miles. We did 570 miles. Parked here in the TA, New Braunfels, Texas for the night. Going to take our break here. We only have an hour and 20 minutes left to drive. And this is about the last place to park that I know of. Heading down towards McAllen. So we didn't want to take a chance on getting stranded or run out of hours or anything. We got still got plenty of time to get down there. I think we got maybe 250 to do in the morning, four hours or so. So we'll get up early enough to be down there by noon. So we get unloaded and go down to Brownsville and get reloaded. Maybe if everything's still going the way it's supposed to. I don't know. Alright, that's it. Time to go eat and go to bed.
Good Monday morning. I'm in this rest area, southbound US Highway 281 in Texas. And I'm almost, well, I'm about an hour north of uh, Edinburgh, McAllen, and all that. So I stop in here. Kind of strange looking around here. Trying to watch the ground for snakes and looking at these weird trees they're all over the place here I don't know weird a nice little quiet place you got here you got little picnic tables little grills and such A kind of rustic western border town type area. Pretty neat. Pretty neat. We stopped here. I thought I'd get out and get the camera out and give everybody a look around. Get that guy over there. And. Wish I had more time. I'd hang out here a little bit. But we gotta get going. We, uh, it's uh, right at 10 o'clock and we gotta be in McAllen at noon. So let's get going. There's our truck over there if you can see it. And we're in the middle of the highway. That's southbound. Northbound's over there. Well, let's get back to work. Beautiful, beautiful Monday afternoon down here in McAllen, Texas. About 81 degrees. Nice warm breeze. Blowing through the palm trees. Yes, it's nice. We just got unloaded over here across the street. Getting ready to head down towards uh, Brownsville, Texas, get a load, and we're going to be taking it up to Little Rock, drop it, because uh, we're going to be going home for Thanksgiving this year. I don't think we made it home last year for some reason, but we're going to be there this year, so we'll get this loaded this afternoon. As close as we can. Well, I don't know how, how far we're going to get this evening, but uh, we'll start heading that way. We'll probably be in Little Rock uh, a Tuesday night, Wednesday morning, or something. I don't know. We'll see. And uh, people always stare at you when you're holding the camera and talking to it. <laughs> That's all right. All right, let me. Uh, I had me a sub sandwich, half of, half of one. I got the other half in the cooler. I'm gonna eat that on the way down to Brownsville. And uh, let's go get this load. I mean, that was pretty quick. We got down to Brownsville, down to our shipper. Pulled in, walked in the office. He said, get in the door right there. Get your paperwork, sign it, and we'll load you up. Oh, that's what happened. Got loaded and now I'm rolling towards the rock. Still down here in Brownsville, but uh, I think we're going to get up to Kingsville this evening. There to Love's. Take our break there, get up in the morning, and might make it to Little Rock tomorrow night. I don't know. I've been going up that 59. Uh, up through Houston and all East Texas, that just seems to take forever. All the little towns and red lights and stuff. So I don't know what time we're gonna be there. It's a good light load. It's only 5,900 pounds or something like that. So yeah, I ain't gotta worry about weight. I'm getting ready to jump up here on the uh, 7783.
Tuesday morning, Kingsville, Texas, at the Loves. Made it up here last night. Took our break. I'm getting ready to splash some fuel in. Try to make it up the road a little bit. Head towards Little Rock. I don't think we're going to make it tonight. But I'll be tomorrow morning. Monday night, no, Tuesday night, <laughs> here at this new Loves, they haven't been open too long, it's uh, Domino, Texas, or Queen City, Texas, it's just south of uh, Texarkana on Highway 59. Uh, I didn't even know this place was here. I was running low on hours. I was going to try to make it up to Prescott, Arkansas, the TA. I said, well, I don't know. It's getting pretty tight. So I seen the sign down the road. I said, is that Love's up there? This wasn't here last time I uh, came up this way. Sure enough, it was. Pulled in and started taking my break. So that's what we're doing tonight. Getting ready to get up and um, get this thing to Little Rock first thing in the morning so we can go to the house. Wednesday morning, Thanksgiving Eve. <laughs> we're here at the Snoo Loves in Domino, Texas. I find out that's the town that this place is in. I thought it was Queen City, but that's actually Domino, Texas. Very nice place, got a nice shower there this morning. Real clean, real nice, real new. But uh, that'll probably change in time. Busier it gets, more people find out about it. We got a pre trip finished and a little chilly out here this morning. We're getting ready to finish up, drink some coffee, and get on up to Little Rock so we can drop this trailer get on to the house. 
Yeah. Uh, it's been, uh, I think, two years since I've been home for Thanksgiving. I don't think I made it home last year. I don't know why. Uh, I can't remember. I have to go back and check. There was... Well, that's it for the, right now. We'll get out here on this highway and get towards Little Rock. Well, this will end this week's vlog. It's Wednesday or Thanksgiving Eve. I'm here at the Little Rock Yard. Getting ready to unhook from a trailer here and bobtail to the house. So don't forget to check all the links, Facebook page, Pale Rider TV, Twitter, at Pale Rider TV, Instagram, PaleRider.TV, and uh, check the links in the description. They're all there, and a couple extra. So check those out if you don't mind. I would appreciate it. And uh, don't forget to comment, like the video, subscribe if you're not subscribed. I would appreciate it. So I want to wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving. Watch out for the holiday traffic. People drive crazy this time of year. Well, any time of year, actually. But especially during the holidays and especially Thanksgiving. Um, always stay safe. And I will see you next week.